going on guys jack here and i am back with episode 18 of the leicester city career mode last episode we had a great start to the premier league season with a draw against chelsea and wins over watford and a thumping over crystal palace today we do have a game against queen's park rangers in the carabao cup which should be an interesting game in all honesty we're going to play some youth players here some fringe players just to see how they do in this one it is at loftus road should be an interesting game but before we get into that game guys if you could smash that like button if you're enjoying the series, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button too? That would be much appreciated. So, QPR. There is some uh, familiar faces in there. Uh, Hall, uh, Angel, Rangel, captain in the side. Uh, Luke Freeman in the middle. And um, other than that, it's, it's Matt Smith up front too. Um, other than that, it's not very much players that stand that as a, as a real threat. Uh, for Crystal Palace. It would be us that start the game off very well here. Madison puts the ball into the box and Inacho wins the header. He needs to be doing better there. Uh, a wasted chance, but um, again, it's um, we're creating opportunities. We do come forward again though. Inacho lays the ball off now into uh, Giovanni Simeone here. A uh, great bit of hold-up plays. He does find Daniel Marty who plays a through ball into Andreas Pereira. Clean on the end of the box and that is a great finish there. 1-0 to Leicester. Andreas Pereira, the man that come in from Manchester United on a free has got the goal. It's uh, his first start for the club, I do believe. And uh, he's making good on that by getting a goal here today. Inside 15 minutes here, uh, we've struck early. And it's um, hopefully a foundation we can build on now to um, get a comfortable win here at Loftus Road. There's tons of space there. I don't know who on earth is left in, uh, out there. The left back should be uh, hanging his head in, uh, in shame there. But again, he still has to finish it from that angle. And he does. Uh, it was a gift of opportunity. But well done to Andreas Pereira for finishing it off. Uh, a treat. I and mean, would come forward again here. Daniel Amati, who created the first goal, does lay the ball off into Giovanni Simeone. And a free ball does find Damari Gray here. He's through on goal. He's going to take the shot. He lines it up. It's a great save from Ingram. Only as far as Andreas Pereira again. Leicester double their lead. It's just shy of the half an hour mark here. It's a double for Andreas Pereira. 2-0. Absolutely um, great play for, um, for Damari Gray. Uh, the ball from Amati was great too. Uh, he cut through the defence. And no one's really got the pace to catch him, Damari Gray. Uh, the shot was a bit tame, but lucky enough, Andreas Pereira was there to uh, scoop up the loose ball and put it into the back of that. So, very good there. It was on the volley too, so an uh, impressive goal to say the least. Do find ourselves 2 up. QPR would spring into action here. Their first attack of the game would fall to their man here. Great bit of strength as he holds off in Bapu there and does go through to Scalman with the shot. Beats Slivlar in net and it is a goal. 2-1. Questionable goalkeeping there from the goalkeeper in all honesty. Um, would Schmeichel have saved that? Possibly. Um, who's to say he would have or wouldn't have? Um, we've allowed QPR back into this game here. I don't know who that was who missed their man. Number 10, it was Madison. Wow. So um, we are in trouble here. Uh, going to the second half in QPR starting it off in um, full of um, confidence here. And the ball has come in. Cilia is denied by a fantastic save from Slivar there. Obviously, the young uh, goalkeeper that has come in from Benfica. And we do get the ball clear, but again, it's just another QPR attack. It's Scalman who's got the first goal. Does find Wheeler down that uh, right-hand side for Queen's Park Rangers here. Cuts it in, does find Cilia again. And Slivlar, again, is equal to his effort. He would come forward, though. He would get our first attack of the half here. But our first real chance to shoot is onto the pitch here. The youth player does lay it off to Mari Gray here. Who gets his shot away? Ingram holds on, though. Still... 2-1 as we approach the last 20 minutes of this game here. Hughes links up with Simeone well. Simeone does find Damari Gray. Gray lays it off into Kelechi Iheanacho here. He's got space, gets the shot away. Again, it is a tame effort. Into the 75th minute, Hall does find Goss. Goss lays it off into Wheeler. Wheeler turns away from his man. Chowdhury can't put the talons in and Wheeler does get his shot away. Again, our keeper is equal to the effort. Still 2-1 from the resulting corner here. It is going to be Wischleck who puts it in. It misses everyone and does fall to... I don't know who that was in all honesty. It does fall to the QPR man in the middle. And from being two goals down, Queens Park Rangers have rescued this game and got it to 2-2. Two, two. Poor defending. Um, I don't know what on earth has happened from that corner. It's just missed everyone. I think that's Damari Gray at the front post. It misses as the ball does come in. It's swerving away from all of them. And the QPR man in the middle is there to clean up and find the back of the net. So it does mean we do go to penalties here. 2-2 two, two was the final result, and uh, they would put their first penalty away. So Inacho steps up here, and Ingram, who's having a really good game so far, does deny us for our first penalty. Cilia steps up, he misses, and we are, we are allowed back in here. Simeone, though, his shot is saved. QPR goalkeeper showing some real heroics here. They can really put a wedge in between us here, and he does. Uh, it's Matt Smith that finishes. Damari Gray does get our first goal of the shootout here. 
could be too little too late as QPR right up a shot here. It is into the back of the net and they do find themselves three ones. Good. We need to score here. Diabite does find the back of the net. Now Stivla, I believe, needs to save this or it is all game over. Wishlek steps up. Wishlek scores. Queen's Park Rangers are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup in a major cup upset. Not just a big cup upset for us, but also means we are out of the Carabao Cup, a competition we wanted to win this year. We wanted to get my first bit of silverware at Leicester. Obviously, we've had, I've had a great first season, but no silverware. Um, so That's meaningful uh, so far. But we do find out our Champions League group. And as you can see, FC Bayern are in the group with us. Club Bruges and Galatasaray. I believe it is a group that we can easily qualify for, uh, whether that be first or second. It'll be interesting with the games against Bayern Munich here, but Galatasaray and Club Bruges, we're definitely a stronger team than so uh, I'm not too worried about that, but it'll be interesting to see how that one does play out. So we do gear up for our last game of the episode, guys. It is on deadline day and it is against Arsenal, but deadline day will be next episode. So make sure to do smash that like button, guys, to see more. And also subscribe if you're new around here again. We are second in the league after three games. Arsenal down in eighth, but a win would see them leapfrog us and go above us. So it is uh, definitely an incentive for both teams here to get a result. Arsenal's team, Unai Emery, does send that. Leno, Klein, Socrates, Kimbembe, Kalanciak, Torreira and Elneny make up the centre defensive midfield spots. There's Bernadeschi, who arrived from Juventus, and at right-hand side, Ozil and Iwobi. Lacazette did start up front. The uh, the graphic uh, cuts very short there as the ball does come in. It would be us with the first attack of the game. Hazard puts the ball into the back post. Martial's arriving late. He gets ahead of Klein and finds the back of the net. Three minutes into this game, Leicester have the lead, and it is a fabulous ball from Fulgan Hazard, if I want to see here. No one's really close to closing him down. Uh, closing him down. Uh, Klancek nowhere close to him. Klein, again, equally, both fullbacks poor on that goal. It wasn't tight to Martial. He was unmarked driving at the back post, and the finish is a great one, in all honesty. Leno does get fingertips to it, but not enough to keep out that shot. Uh, very good start for Leicester, as we do look to pile more pressure on Arsenal here. Martial gets away from his man, and Leno this time gets a strong hand to the ball and does deny Martial getting the brace. Arsenal will come forward with Nathaniel Klein. The former Liverpool man does find Mesut Ozil here. Ozil with a great bit of footwork does get past Matthias De Ligt there. His shot is saved though by Schmeichel and we eventually do get the ball away. It does fall to Memphis Depay here. Great bit of hold-up plays. Does find William Cyprian here. Martial's away down at left-hand side and he has got the pace on Nathaniel Klein here. Driving towards goal. Anthony Martial from our box to the goal. A classic counter-attack and this team is just so deadly on the break. The amount of pace we have up top this season is frightening. We had it last season too. We played Session out on the wing, uh, Pereira out on the right, and obviously had Vardy through the middle, but I think it's even more frightening this season with Martial, Hazard, and Depay. I mean, the break was brilliant, and Anthony Martial continues his fabulous start to the season. That's another goal to add to his tally. I believe he's around about five goals already this season. That is absolutely remarkable. But Arsenal wouldn't give up. Lacazette links up with Ozil here. Alex Iwobi, great bit of hold-up play. And Lacazette does get away from his man and does find the back of the net on the half-hour mark. And now we do not want to repeat of the Queen's Park Ranger game where we did find ourselves 2 new up and thrown it away. A two-goal lead is a dangerous lead in this game. It really is because you can never write off Arsenal. They've got a goal back here and now they've got the, uh, the, uh, the bit between the teeth. They're going to go for this one. Uh, it's a good finish there. But we need to try and uh, make sure we keep them out here. And get another goal. As Ricardo Pereira comes forward here. Does find Memphis to pie. The pie links up with Cyprian here. The Frenchman does play it back into the Dutchman. Gets a bit lucky there with the shot. Uh, but it is a tame effort though. Leno does hold on. As Maguire does play the ball into Cyprian here. Right at the end of the first half. It's a great over the top through ball from Indeedy. In to Hazard. First time effort straight at Leno though. Rather frustrating to say the least. Into the second half now. Arsenal would come through. Bernadeschi links up with Torreira here. Uruguay still onto the ball. Lays it off into Ozil. And that is a stunning strike and a stunning finish. Arsenal find themselves back on terms. From two goals down, Unai Amiri's men have got themselves back into this one. 2-2. And just like the Queen's Park Rangers game, a two-goal lead has been thrown away. Worrying stuff to say the least. We did go forward to the back for this season. Uh, not only to accommodate, obviously, the new signings, but to... Uh, obviously uh, stop conceding goals, but it doesn't look like it's made much of a difference here. We look to go back ahead here. The pie links up with Indeedy back into Loftus cheek, gets his shot away, but Leno does hold on again. Just past the hour mark now, and then a great bit of footwork because he does play in Lacazette. Plays a tame, uh, a really good ball into Ozil here. Back into El Nene, into Lacazette, and the turn shot is a stunning one. Arsenal have completed a massive comeback here. From two goals down, they are 3-2 up with just 25 
35 minutes, so we have to go in this, no, 25 minutes, sorry, we have to go in this first, uh, in the second half. We're on course to have a double loss in today's video here. Uh, maybe we'll get some new defenders in, in the uh, deadline day window, but Arsenal come forward again, looking to get a fourth. Bernadeschi links up with Ozil again. This time he is denied by Schmeichel, and the ball does get cleared away. We do come forward now on the attack. 15 minutes left to go in this game. Anthony Martial, his ball is tame. It finds Kalanchiak. Can Bembe lose that to Ndidi? Throw on goal. And he just can't get it towards goal uh, enough to put, put enough on that. Still 3 2. We would come forward. Hazard puts the ball into the box. Cleared only as far as Wilfred Ndidi. Cyprian's played in space. No one's going to close him down. Cyprian from range. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. Leicester back on terms from going a goal down. They've got another one. 3 3 here with 10 minutes left to go. That could be a rather important goal come the end of the season. Uh, it looks like we have rescued a point here. Um, we'll go all out for the win, but look at that. The amount of space they've left Cyprian in is criminal. And uh, he's been on good goal-scoring form, obviously, in pre-season. He, he got six goals in pre-season in, I believe, three games. So he's popped up here with another goal, this time in the Premier League, when it really matters. And he does rescue a point confirmed. Final score here at the King Power Stadium, Leicester 3, Arsenal 3, a classic game to say the least and a great way to end today's video. Next episode, we do have Champions League action, so make sure you stick around for that, guys. We have a game against Wolves and Southampton, uh, which will be the live game. Go Tassar and Southampton, so make sure you do stick around for that. Uh, here we are on the league table, third in the league. Um, us, Burnley, Liverpool, Everton, Arsenal, Brighton. All yet to lose this season. Be interested to see how this one does play out. As always, guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you are new around here. Like the video for more. I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.